Philadelphia, I'm socialite Helen Kamlicka, coming to you from the Upper East Side in New York. A superior city with far less ugly people. I was going to go to Philadelphia, but my travel agent said, maybe somewhere safer. So I went to Syria. When I think of Philadelphia, I'm reminded of one syphilitic fat old horse specifically. I, of course, mean Benjamin Franklin, and not Dominique Lee, as I'm sure all of you assumed. Uh, but they are both fat old whores in wigs. Both wear a girdle, uh, require bifocals, and they are the same dress size. She told me Paula Dean would be here, and I said, oh, great, a real country bear jamboree. But I was sent a picture of Paula, and it is not the lovable possum mom chef from television. Real Paula Dean would have some choice words for that one. Well, one word in particular, for sure. I won't say it here. It's not polite, and we usually just whisper it in a hushed tone at the country club. Dominique reached out to me and said, Helen, I'm a 45-year-old drag queen in Philadelphia. And I thought, oh, great, another suicide note. But Dominique wanted me to remind you, Marys, that while the queens are performing, you are to shut the fuck up. I mean, if you make too much noise, you'll miss the sound of Dominique's hip bones grinding together like an old cement mixer. Show a little respect for these aging men and be quiet whilst they perform. And if you think you can do better than this sad, arthritic, fat old man up here in a wig shaking his duct tape pussy for singles, then do it elsewhere. These are Dominique's autumn years, and you will show her and that other one that kind of looked like Condoleezza Rice a little respect. I'd say go birds, but the only balls you ladies care about are that of a rough trade stranger who will bludgeon you at home and steal your antiques for crack. Anyway, Philadelphia, have a lovely time. Remember that you are universally despised and your city climaxed 250 years ago. And shut the fuck up while Dominique is limping to the barn. And yes, if she were a horse, she would have been made into glue decades ago. But that is neither here nor there. She's keeping up the proud art of drag in the city of brotherly love. Lest we forget that right there, across from the meth den, our founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence. And who were they but a bunch of fat old sluts and wigs, much like all the queens you'll see this evening. Thank you and have a wonderful time. Or as you might say there, I hope you have a great time at this drag show on a Sunday. God, I can't wait until they're outlawed.